Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lone Star Homestead. I got an update here with the uh, solar panel mounting uh, system that I came up with. This is a ground mount, all steel ground mount. I'm going to go through the details here. Uh, if you're going to build a ground mount, the best way to do it is make it out of steel. And... Uh, Wood won't last very long, so you'll just have problems with it repaired or whatever. But uh, I'm going to show you how I built this. So here we go. I had a bunch of uh, six inch steel channel. We got about another 30 foot section of it. I'm going to use a couple more pieces off of that, put up two more panels. But uh, what I did was I used uh, Unistrut, and uh, I'll show you why in just a little bit, and uh, a good reason for it. Uh, Unistrut works really well uh, for a lot of things, so that's, that's what I went with. But as you can see, I use six inch steel channel, quarter inch wall, and I wanted to use uh, two by two quarter inch angle iron for the cross piece here, but I didn't have two by two by quarter. I had to mention a quarter. So I welded a plate to the unistrut and uh, it's definitely not going anywhere. And then I welded the angle iron to the steel plate to make it stronger. This is quarter inch plate, about four, four or five inches wide, I think. I bolted these on, you know, I could have welded, but bolts will work just fine. Put a lock nut uh, on the inside, uh, actually a, a lock washer and nut. This is, uh, 5 16 bolt this is 3 8 bolt with a washer and a lock nut on the other side i had some old bolts that were still good and uh i did the same thing on the other side here I mounted it to the outside of this quarter inch by two, I think it is here. But I use a round post for the center. Put quarter inch by two inch plate on each side. Put two bolts on the bottom and then three eighths by lock nut uh, on there. Basically the same thing with uh, the quarter inch, uh, four, four or five inches wide that I had some scrap metal, 5 16 bolts, and uh, works real well. I made uh, two of them, and uh, I can put two panels on each section. So I have one section there, got another section there, and easy, easy to swivel will swivel give me more than i need but uh it works uh real well for holding two panels okay then uh 12 degrees i think during the summer i got all the angles i need but yeah, works real well easy well making the frames were the hardest part and i have a six inch steel channel down there as well okay then i ran the wires through there and uh, i used some eight gauge wire run it through P 
PVC into the ground and all the way up to the house. Long ways over there, about 50 feet. You get one, less than 1% voltage drop with eight gauge wire. And I checked calculations, everything. I marked one obviously with a red tape corresponds to the inside so I know which one's positive. Don't want to screw that up. So, you know, I want to get that right. Don't want to buy another inverter, so. And then I'll just uh, silicone the top of the PVC pipe, plug it up, keep water out. I put a band on it to hold the PVC pipe on there. Now I'm going to show you why I used the Unistrut. Well, hey, girl. Ginger, you want to come out here? See what's going on, huh? Yeah, get that stuff out of your face there. We can get a good look at you. What's that black mark there? You're getting in some, huh? Ginger. There you go. Yeah. Okay, I had to get back to where I was here. I made, as everyone knows, on the back of the solar panels, you have the holes. You got four holes, two on each side. Okay, and uh, use those holes to mount them. And uh, what I did was, I got a machine shop, got a couple of lathes, milling machine, that kind of stuff. I turned down some round pieces so they fit right inside of the Unistrut. So, what I do is I will bolt these to the back of the solar panels with a 5 16th bolt and a lock washer. I'll set them in the track, but I'm only putting these on one side of each solar panel. So on this side, these round studs will be on this end. And on the other end, it will have the round studs. And it will hold it in the track. It's pretty close fit, but still just enough room to where it will go in and out. And then in the middle, I will put what they call a T-slot nut. It's used for a milling machine to hold uh, vices and turntables and such. And I'll use the existing hole, hopefully, luckily. I'll put a big fender washer on the bottom. And I'll run a nut all the way through the T-nut. And that's what's going to line up the center. And... Uh, keep the, uh, the center of the panels down on the rail. And I will add two more. I will add two more. Uh, I, got, I got enough for four panels right here. And uh, I'll have about 1,500 I think about 1500 watts of solar panels. May add two or four more later, but uh, I'm gonna add two more. These are facing due south. I used a uh, compass to find due south. And then I'm going to go southeast with two solar panels so I can get the benefit of the east side when the sun comes up a little better and I can still get it from the west side uh, when I have them facing southeast. Thought about using this material here for you know the post for the other two panels I figured I got six inch channel I'll just make them the same but uh, that's what I did. I sunk these in the ground. Oh, good, 
I don't know, probably a couple of feet and uh, sunk them in concrete. So uh, they'll be there a while. But, uh, you know, they, they swivel. They swivel real nice. And uh, the only thing I need to do yet before I put solar panels up right in the middle I will put I will put a post I got some short pieces of angle line I'll put a post in the ground and then put you know a big long rod or a flat bar so I can adjust the angle and lock it in place and uh That'll hold it until I change the angle again. So, I hope that helps uh, somebody out there. If you're going to build a ground mount, make it out of steel. You know, do it right. Never have a problem with it. And, uh, you know, it'll last a long time. And uh, never look back. So... Hopefully, that helps you guys, helps somebody out there. I'll show you, uh, I'll do another video when I get the uh, solar panels up, and I'll show you how they sit in there, and, and uh, hopefully it'll help somebody out. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you like the video, and hit that thumbs up button. Uh, I sure would appreciate it. It'll help get the word out, and maybe help somebody else out there. I just used materials I had except for the Unistrut. So, got uh, $60 worth of Unistrut and everything else I had. So, y'all have a good one. I'll see y'all later.